sandwiches. It's, it's just, you know it's running. So. <laughs> Run that. These these impromptu moments in life, man, you, you can't make a buck. Right. So I'm capturing somebody's sending a, a picture for me. Well, for real, man. Yeah, to it's, the YouTube uh, world, this guy right here got me started. He lit the flame, this guy right here. I appreciate you, man. So All right. I, I, don't, I don't think, uh, it's always hard for me to describe like what stuff like this does Yeah. for, you know, for me. And uh, just like I said earlier, it's why I do this. Yeah. I don't do it for money. Yeah. I do it because right here. Yeah, yeah, and that's the way. And I'm under the same philosophy, bro. Making strict prior, man. Come on with that. <laughs> hey, I'm, man, especially in said, today's and times. And you didn't think I remembered you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, um, Chinese food right. to YouTube. <laughs> All right, man. Look what I'm taking home, folks. That's amazing. It's and, funny that it was right here, too. Yeah, and look what my man's got to wear tomorrow. I don't know when he's going to put it on. Oh, it, it's on but, tonight. But some, tomorrow, somebody, tonight. somebody's going to definitely appreciate it, bro. I wish I could turn this this thing around. This is beautiful. Okay. Looks legit. <laughs> yeah. Right? Awesome. Good deal, man. Good deal. Hey. All right, dude. Uh, You're going to see this up there, too, one day. <laughs> I'm going to have you in, like, the title. I always like to start my day off by drinking some coffee, of course, and uh, sometimes I like to take walks in the morning and just kind of hear like the different sounds and, and things like that and remind myself how thankful I am just for another day because tomorrow may not, may not be the same. Tomorrow may not be here. I may not be here. You might not be here. So you always want to appreciate the simple things in life. Simple as something like the day, you know, it's here. The sun came out today. Some people think that I think too much into these types of things, but it's just, uh, it's who I am, you know, and it's because of my experiences that I'm able to think about the, the simple things in life and be, and be happy for those simple things. And I wanted to share something with you because it's it's super important to me and it's something that means the world to me that happened to me yesterday and I'll start off by I'll try to keep it short um, but it's a very in my opinion it's it's inspiring and I and I hope uh, I hope this is something that can give you the motivation or the drive to to want to do the same thing or want to try to to push 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 and give good advice or positive advice to other people because when you do such a thing like that you never know who it's going to change and you never know what they're going to change because of what you've done to them and it's it's such a powerful thing you know it's it's a powerful thing so every day that I wake up I try to make the best out of it no matter what I'm feeling if I'm feeling great which I am most of the days and some days I'm not feeling great so what I do if I'm not feeling great I try to work I try to work that that feeling out of me and a lot of times it's by creating something 99.9% um, .9 of the time if I start to create something it just it I don't know it does something it does something in my brain and it just helps a lot and that's why I do what I do that's why I say what I say and post what I post you know it's all it's all a true feeling coming from within my soul my heart it's coming from me and it's, it's very real and that's why I do this every single day I was at the studio yesterday as I'm sitting there the door opens and you know mind you we're in the middle of a, a, a you know pandemic so a lot of places are well I, I don't know people are opened I guess now but me I don't sell anything um, I sell paintings I guess but I don't you know people don't walk in it's not really a store it's a studio for me to make videos and content so people don't come in and, and buy stuff if that makes sense so the door opens and I'm just sitting there and this gentleman walks he walks through the door and I look up at him, and it's and, and it's very hard to. I have trouble sometimes identifying my friends with masks on, you know. But um, but I looked up and I saw this guy as he came in, and the first thing that he said to me was, "I know you don't remember me." That's what he said. And I looked at his eyes. I looked right at his eyes, and I said, "No, no, I remember you. I, I do remember you." And then he kind of paused, and I said. Chinese food. You were buying Chinese food. I was in front of my studio flying a drone Chinese food. 
and he said, son of a gun, you know, so, so right, right then and there he knew, he knew that I remembered him. Now, this was from last summer, okay? So last summer I was out and I was flying my drone, I was getting some footage of the lake and things that are located right around the studio area. Um, you know, I do that stuff for videos, I use them in videos sometimes. And this gentleman was buying Chinese food right next door because we have the best Chinese food in the area. And he, he said to me, he had asked me a little bit about the drone, what I'm doing and stuff like that. And I, I explained to him, you know, I, I make YouTube videos and, and all that. And I use this footage and I, I do all kinds of stuff. And he said, you know, what advice do you have? Or, you know, something along those lines for, you know, about YouTube. It, you know, and I said to him, I said, here's my advice. YouTube, start right now. Don't wait. Don't do it tomorrow. Start right this second. You need to do it now. It's going to change your life and it's going to change so many other lives of people that watch you. You need to start it right now. You need to get that phone out of your pocket. You don't need no fancy cameras. You have everything that you need right now. And I guess my demeanor, my excitement, the passion that was pouring out of my face, I, I don't know. Anyhow, months and months go by. And, uh, you know, I have conversations like this often with people. And so the door opens, all that stuff, right? He comes in and, you know, what I told you earlier in the video. And he says, well, I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to drive here to personally let you know that um, this all happened because of you and, you. and you changed things for me. You changed everything. And I just kind of like, like a little bit of wind got taken out of me, you know what I mean? Because I'm a very appreciative human. So he said he has 20, 20 videos on his channel. 20 videos. And he's doing good. And, uh, uh, okay, all right. Here's the thing. I love all the comments that everybody leaves me. Hold on. Excuse me. I love all the comments that every single person leaves. All the great, I read them all. I read all the emails. Even if I don't get back to you right away, I read them. I read everything, every single thing. Emails are the best. But I never know. I never know what happens when I have a conversation where I have this great interaction with somebody. Nine out of 10 times, I never know, you know what happens going into the future. And in, in this case, John is his name. He was nice enough to come back to tell me what had happened. And I don't, I don't know that, that I can explain to you how that impacts me as a human. It changed yesterday. What happened yesterday changed who I am in even a better way. And it changes how I think going into the future even more. To be able to change somebody's you know, life or the course of their future is something more powerful than most people think. And I think this is why that I, I don't really think I'm teaching people painting. At least I, I, I like to do that. But, but I think I'm trying to teach people more than just painting. I think I'm trying to teach people to be good to other people. Not just to be good to other people. To, to ins try to inspire other people. And, and one of the most important things I've ever done, pay attention to this, I've inspired people the best at my lowest times. I've inspired people the, the best and the most at my lowest times. So I think what I'm trying to say is you don't always have to be in this fantastic you know, place to be able to help change somebody else. And I want you to do me a favor. I want you to go over to John's channel. There's a link in the description. His name of his channel is Focus Wings. It's a good channel. It's about inspiration. It's about motivation. Hell, even there's a few cooking recipes on there, you know? I mean, it's a good, it's a good channel. And I'm more than honored to be, uh, to be any what credited, you know, for the birth of that channel, even though it was all him. He had all the ingredients you know, ready to go for that channel. Maybe I gave him a little spark, but it was all, it was all you, man. It, it was all you. And uh, I just want to congratulate you on a, on a really good job, man. It's such a, such a good job what you're doing. And I, uh, I want to remind you that 
there's going to be a lot of people that change because of what you did, right? By starting this channel. I just went from talking to the audience to, to John. That was kind of that was kind of weird, but let me just put that into perspective. A lot of people are going to change because of what you did. And if you want to say that I gave you that spark to do that, that goes back to my whole meaning behind everything that I'm doing. If I gave you the spark to do it, now you've done it. And so many other people are going to be affected by it. Let's switch back to audience mode. Just think about all of you guys that are watching. Think about what happens when you inspire people. And maybe you'll never know what happens. But is it worth it to you? The question is... Is it worth it to inspire people even if you never know what the result is yes it is because out of the thousands and thousands of people that have messaged me and told me that I have inspired them John is one of the very few that I have ever you know got to see in real life that have came to me and, and, and showed me and presented it to me and I got to tell you I feel like a million people walked in that's how I feel right now and it's super it's just so important to me that I wanted to make I wanted to make this video I wanted to tell you this story because it's just inspiring it's inspiring and the other thing pay attention to signs pay attention to different signs in life because I got to say this too what happened yesterday it couldn't have happened at a better time so be happy guys be happy for things be grateful for things do good things in life always always inspire people even if you even if you're at a low point inspire people life can be a struggle but life can be great as well i just encourage every one of you just to just to live your best life live your best life even if you're limited that's been the story of my life trying to live well it's been the story of my five years trying to live my best life always limited John thanks dude I appreciate you and um, I hope a lot of people I hope everybody that watches this video goes over to your video because the stuff that you're doing should interest a wide variety of people I love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all the stuff. I'll see you in the very next video. And one last thing. Um, don't don't mind my hair. I just got out of the shower. It's kind of, you know, it's like, well, I'll pull it back in a little bit. I'll pull it back in a little bit. So I don't want to see any, you know, I don't want to see any crazy comments about this mop I have going on right here. But uh, you know what I mean. All right. I got to run, guys. Take care. Um, yesterday was uh, one of the coolest days I've had ever. So check them out. Links down below. See you guys.